and welcome back guys we're going to be playing some more starfield and we're going to be doing the mission location of the ecs constant make sure to like button make sure to subscribe button let's get into playing some more starfield is our number one priority.
Sight is clear. Descent start. I'm not sure rehabilitation can be a valid alternative to incarceration, but I would be happy to be proven wrong. And you're all just here, what? Waiting for him to wander back through the gate? Mr. Halftown, we are trying. But we don't have the manpower. And now half my crew thinks your little band of convicts is just waiting to drag us off and scrap us for organs. Mr. Halftown, our security officer has been put into the infirmary trying to find your worker. We're doing everything we can. All I ask is that you, and your crew, be patient. You have nothing to fear from us convicts. We are handling it. Then get it done. Or else we are going to have problems. You have my word. I'm sorry, love, but the Elios retreat isn't taking new residents right now. We've had some issues, a missing person chief among them. But you're welcome to rest up and refuel here as long as you'd like. So long as there's no bounty hunter after you that's going to kick my brand new door off its hinges. That the truth? Because I can't say it's gonna be easy work, but if you found the construction crew's missing man, we'd all owe you. I appreciate the moxie, but let's just start with the one. But if you're going to be helping us, well, you should know who it is you're working with first. The staff here, we come from some challenging backgrounds. Nearly all of us have spent time behind bars at one point or another. But our plan is to make this place, the retreat, into something we wish we'd all had. A place to help the galaxy's incarcerated get themselves on firmer footing. We'll bring them here, pay off their bounties, get them job training and a support network. Help them build regular, stable, boring lives to keep them out of the system for good. But I won't pretend that that sort of work doesn't make some people uncomfortable, so I just wanted to make sure you were aware before you signed on. You are a lifesaver. First place you'll want to start is the infirmary. Our security officer, Greg D'Angelo, was in the process of tracking our missing person, a Mr. Kilman, but was injured in the process. He should be able to get you pointed in the right direction. I thought I was signing up for an exciting job on an interesting choice of location. Relaxing, I suppose.
I am skeptical of whether this retreat will achieve its goals, but I applaud their efforts. Uh, who are you? Can't the guy heal in peace? Sloan found someone else, huh? Well, hopefully, ugh, you'll have better luck than I did. I managed to turn up some tracks outside the facility. Bit of a hike, though. Not sure if they were Kilmans, but Ixil's not exactly a bustling metropolis. There was a cave system I scanned nearby, but I got attacked before I could look any further. Next place I was planning to visit once I was on my feet again. I'd start there. scanner review.
It seems local fauna has been nesting here. going back. Stay away. Oh God, please, please don't put me back in the bag. I'll do whatever you say. Just please, not the bag. Do not fear. Your trial is at an end. You, you are? Oh, thank God. Come on. Let's get the hell out of here. You do know the way back, right? Another way through here. I'm sure where it leads. Caves like this can be an excellent way to conceal the presence of an illegal opera. like the inside of the first aid kit. Mm. I had to sleep on a steel floor and... Which one of you crooks backed him, huh? Us? Why the hell would we do that? Waste of a perfectly good bag. You rambling kid, come on. <laughs> Let's get you cleaned up. You smell like used welder's gear. Mr. Halftown, I have some medical training. I'd be happy to. You stay away. I want whoever kidnapped my man found and dealt with, understand? I don't care if it's one of your people or mine or a fucking ghost. Find them. Of course. We'll do what we can. But... I'm not interested in excuses. I need to know who did this. Just find my man's kidnapper now. I was sure one of those colonists had scrapped him for parts. Ah, uh, I... I guess it might have been a bit naive for me to hope for a happy reconciliation, but you brought him back safe. That's what's important. Here, 
You have my sincerest thanks. But now, we've got a whole new thread to pull on. What are the chances I'd be able to convince you to help us find our kidnapper? Thank the heavens. So, we just need to figure out where we're sending you. Now, Mr. Kilman didn't seem to have a lot of information, but I caught at least one or two bits I think could help us find our kidnapper. That's right. Not a lot of proper facilities like that in the area. Which makes me think... There is a building we were evaluating as a possible site for the retreat not far from here. An old research outpost. Seems like a decent match for the description of our kidnapper's hideaway. Here, the facility's coordinates. Head out there and see what you can find. Look, I'm glad Kilman's alive, but they must be out for the mattress if they think we're getting back to work anytime soon.
Did you hear something? <laughs> Before we are discovered. Thank you. 
How quickly can you get that done? I'm here for you. Need to see what I'm... It is always a pleasure. You seem to have weathered that trek well enough. Were you able to find anything at the facility? Hmm. It certainly is. Monica, anything you can do with this? I can take a look. Oh, it's encoded. Made to look scrambled and done badly. Looks like... there. Seems there were two of them. Oh my god. It's all here. The accidents, the kidnapping, Greg's attack. These two, they did it all. Any mention of who they are? They're not... with the construction crew, are they? Mm, no names. But there are a pair of ID numbers. They're with the Tracker's Alliance. The Alliance sent two bounty hunters? Here? But our bounties are all paid. 
I'm not seeing an Alliance contract or documentation. I think this is off the books. Trackers? Consider yourselves lucky to still be alive. It appears we have been fortunate. But it does beg the question. So, a couple of trackers have decided to haunt us on their own free time. Why? Doesn't say. True, but knowing their motivations may make the process simpler. Their motivation is money, Sloan. We pay them, and they'll leave us alone. And make ourselves a target for every other hunter in the universe. We need to take a stand. Says the one guy physically incapable of taking one. We're not doing anything until we actually find them. Any mention in there of where our trackers might be now? Mm, sounds like they're on a supply run, outside the system. Then we got a little time. Given their background, and ours, I expect you're the only person here they might actually listen to. Would you be willing to act as an emissary on our behalf? I'm sure we can find a way to solve this issue, which won't require bloodshed. Let's just pay them and be done with it. I mean, we clearly need more manpower anyway. I'll hire them on as contractors. To hell with that. We know where they live. Let's have our friend here get the drop on him and send him to the Great Beyond. The last thing we need is the galaxy thinking that's how we solve our problems around here, Mr. D'Angelo. I would request you try to avoid any violence. But if you're looking for suggestions on how to proceed, well, it seems we've got opinions to spare. These trackers have already shown they're willing to hurt people. Don't get yourself killed on our account. I had to deal with my fair share of their kind over the years. You don't get into that job to make it rich. You get into it to be your own boss and prove how tough you are. So, my advice? Let them know that pushing around a bunch of counselors just makes them look like bullies, not tough. Be careful with those goons. I think there's a clear way to solve this problem. I think you should offer them money, and I'm willing to help. Here, all I have liquid at the moment. Hopefully it'll be enough. Take care, please. They haven't killed anyone. Love, I can only guess at what these two might be after. But it's clear they perceive something about us as a threat. They're afraid. And all you can do with fear is try and understand it. So, just listen to them, okay? Hear what they have to say. And see if you can make whatever it is they're worried about a little less scary. Good luck out there. You looking for my suggestion? I don't think they're gonna respect anything other than force. But I think Sloane's not gonna be happy if you handle it. You deal with this however you want.
Who are you and what the hell are you doing here? And just who the holy hell are you? See? I told you Kilman was gonna lead them to us. Should have slit his throat when we had the chance. Quiet. Listen, unless you're here to tell us those convicts have decided to close up shop, then we've got nothing to discuss. Couldn't care less about the cons. They can huff fish innards until they rot for all we care. But this retreat, if they actually succeed, keep criminals out of the bounty system, well, the galaxy probably doesn't need so many trackers at that point, does it? And then maybe the big boys like the UC and the Collective set up programs of their own, just like Elios, put us all out of a job. Now, better to nip in the bud now before it becomes a threat. Which is why I'm not interested in discussing anything except the date and time they're shutting their doors. It is a reasonable request. You would do well to consider it. That's so. What? That's... that's not what this is. We're tough. I... I guess that's a good point. Fine. We'll leave the retreat alone. Can't make any promises about us being the last, though. Just get out, all right? There you are. You were gone for quite a while, love. Are you all right? Were you able to find our trackers? That's... That's the best news I've had in quite a while. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, love. This place, all of us, we are in your debt. There is just one last piece of business, though. Nevin asked to speak to you, in private. He's waiting for you up in the office.
Ah, there you are. So, first things first, I need to say, well, thank you. And we are exceedingly grateful for it. It's just, the situation you set right, with the trackers, it's one we don't want to find ourselves in again. Luckily, we have someone, our founding donor in fact, who has offered to reach out to the Alliance, ensure their good behavior going forward. Before she does, however, she's asked for the details of what exactly occurred. I've already shared my own insights, but... Well, she wants to talk to you, too. Is that something you might be amenable to? Ah, she'll be pleased to hear it. Head to Aquila City in the Cheyenne system. Check in with Justin Sneed, her security chief. And I would ask you to try and be polite. She's the only reason we're here. I spent significant time here meeting with smugglers. Brings back memories. Was closed. Come back some other time. Hmm. You're them, huh? I've got two rules for this little meeting. Rule number one you're not to share anything you discuss up there. This is a private matter, and we're going to keep it that way. Rule two you decide to get playful with that weapon. We're going to have serious problems. Think you can abide by those? Good. Miss Lance is waiting upstairs. You can go on up. And that must make you our guest. Please, take a seat. Now, you may already know who I am. Raisha Lance, CEO Laredo Firearms. And you, I know all about. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for the retreat. Truly, it's a project that's near and dear to my heart. Now, I presume Nevin already got you up to speed. I need details before I talk to the heads of the Trackers Alliance. Make sure their members understand the retreat's off limits. So if you don't mind, I'd like to just jump right into it. Lily here will be taking notes as we go. Now, Nevin said all the various incidents afflicting the retreat, they all stemmed from this pair of rogue bounty hunters. Do I have that right? Good. Lily, make sure we get a copy of all that, will you? Yes, Ms. Lance. But Nevin did say you managed to get those two to leave the retreat alone. You mind my asking how you accomplished that? Two trackers and you just talked them down? That's quite the feat. I'm interested in the details, though. How exactly did it all play out? A 
I'm sure it was. I've dealt with trackers. They tend to be... a focused sort. So, only other thing I wanted to ask, and I'm just looking for an opinion here. Is there anything in your eyes that could have been done to prevent this happening? After everything I've heard from you and Nevin, I'm inclined to agree. It'll take time to get the right people in place for this kind of work, but I'll make sure it's addressed. But that should give me enough to present to the Alliance. Thank you for making the time. Now, what you did, well, it deserves something more than just a couple of firm thank yous. Here, I want you to have these. They're a rare make. But I think you've earned it. Now, was there anything else you wanted to talk about before we went our separate ways? It's something that's been on my mind for a while now. How best to help the galaxy's incarcerated population? Humanity's tried plenty of bad ideas. Throwing them in jail and forgetting about them? The UC gave that a go way back when. Took all their criminals to a penal colony on Suvorov and left them to their own devices. Well, those folks didn't appreciate that sort of treatment. Took over the colony. And now we call them the Crimson Fleet. Next, we tried making them pay fines instead of going to jail. Except if you don't have the money, that's no sort of improvement at all, is it? Bad idea after bad idea. I thought it was time we tried something new. That's where the plans for the retreat came from. Our attempt at doing things different. You make lots of friends in my position. Friends in the Free Star Collective. Friends in the UC. The sort of people with influence over things. Like, say, how much a locality is allowed to spend on Alliance contracts each quarter. When the Alliance heads grasp that it's better for us all to be friends, I expect they'll leave the retreat well enough alone. That's kind of you, but without your help, it might have stayed just a goal. You have my sincere thanks. Now if you'll excuse me, as you've seen, there's plenty to be done. I'm not sure rehabilitation can be a valid alternative to incarceration. But I would be happy to be for the moment. Can't thank you enough. Just happening through our neck of the woods, stranger? Nevin told me about your summons. Our, uh, donor wasn't too hard on you, I hope.
She can be a hammer when the situation requires. But this project holds a pretty special place in her heart, so I'm sure she was feeling grateful. Well, thanks to your little chat, our donor's doing everything she can to upend the various roadblocks in our way. We're in the process of vetting more security, looking at some additional and more agreeable contractors. Whatever gets this place closer to becoming a reality, opening still a ways off, but we'd be going nowhere if you hadn't wandered in. That makes two of us. Thank you again, love. For you, our doors will always be open. Yes? I keep whatever you... Until our next talk. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.